right, part three of the video. Continue walking down. You can see the dead leaves on the ground. I think it's from the last storm we had. Normally there's not that many dead leaves. Trying to do some erosion control here. About 10 years ago, on the right side here, there were, well, they reseeded, resodded it, uh, put those stones back up. But progressively, every year that I've been coming, it gets worse and worse and worse. So I don't even think they keep it make an attempt and he wanna fix this. And this is now with no storm and the waves are pretty much eating it up. You throw a storm or two and just like back home, the wall is gonna disappear. This one here is even worse. If you see the the pipes into where they had the irrigation for the plants. But Mother Nature is stronger than man. Just pretty much eats away at it. And the same with this next one, although there's still a little bit more shrubbery here. Not sure how long this will last. A few years, maybe, depending on how many big storms you get. Now we'll walk down to the very end here, turn around at the aquarium, and then head back to the hotel. That's four. Get back to the hotel. Just in time for dinner. Uh, got our little sign here. Capulani Park. Alcala to our left. I mean, the road, aquarium. Actually, why is it pointing the aquarium to the left? Aquarium is there. Oh, we shall keep going. Top of this wall here, side of the tree road. Because they just cemented the top, but they're going to need to do more work on this wall to prevent it from decaying too much. And on the left here is the aquarium. They actually do a, a luau from here now. Back in the day, they didn't, well, I think it's by four years, maybe three years ago, they started doing the luau here. The good thing with this luau is the view of the sunset on a perfect night. Sun sets pretty much right over there, and you get an awesome sunset. 
when you're doing your luau. A little further down, there might be some fish. We can see. Now the walk back is that way. Sounds good. Actually, some fish in there, long, skinny, eel like fish. Don't know what they're called, but there's a handful down there. Well, we got Kapiolani Park here again. Man, you can see the trees. Not much foliage on these, and I think it's again because of the water being so close with the sea salt and the spray. There's a few fish down there, but I don't think the camera's going to see them because of the glare. Although, let's see, there's a butterfly fish right down there. There it go. And it just died. <laughs> I think the wave just took him into the water, into the wall. Now oh, there he is. We'll see. We'll see. All right, back to the walk. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Benches. I guess if you want to sit at a bench and get showered upon by the water, that's a cool thing. Of the helicopters above. Two hundred dollars for like a forty-minute ride. Haven't done one yet. Not sure I will at that price. Well, maybe one day. Maybe one day. gimbal is you don't really have to watch what you're filming. I've got the gimbal now to my left hand and I'm just walking. The gimbal stays level and it keeps my eyes on the road while the path is. So it's not too dangerous. But I still look at the camera to make sure it's pointing at the right thing. And every once in a while I have to switch hands because it gets a tad uh, heavy is not the right word, but it's eight ounces for the gimbal, a couple ounces for the phone or, or the microphone, and then another half pound for the phone. So it's probably like a pound, a little over a pound that you're holding in the hand that's not used to holding 
something this height. And actually, and you can't tell, but armor's outstretched this way. That's holding it over my head. And that's holding it low. So that's 10 minutes. So 10 minutes to walk from the fishing pier, or the pier that we feed the fish, back to the aquarium and back. It's about 11 minutes. Turn this one off here, we'll stop. 